How Mexica Works, Chapter 4, Generation of Narratives. This is the general organization of Mexica. In this chapter, we are going to focus on how Mexica generates new narratives through engagement reflection cycles. The process of developing new stories consists of a cycle between the engaged and reflective states. During engagement, the system generates sequence of actions. During reflection, the system evaluates the material produced so far. As a result of this evaluation, it is created a set of variables called guidelines. The guidelines will constrain the production of material during the next engagement cycle. The chapter is divided in three sections, engagement, reflection, and ending the narrative. Let's start with engagement. The user provides an initial action. The action is executed and the story context is updated. The system employs the story context as cue to prove memory. Then it matches a structure that is equal or similar to the story context. It retrieves all the associated actions and following the constraints imposed by the guidelines, one of them is selected. Then the cycle repeats. The chosen action is executed. The story context is updated. The story context is employed as cue to prove memory and a structure is matched, its associated actions are retrieved, and one of them is selected as the next action in the story in progress. This cycle is repeated three times. Let's see an example. The user provides the action A attacked B. The system updates the story context. We can observe that character B hates character A and the life of character B is at risk because of character A. Also, because character B hates character A and they are located in the same position, the system automatically triggers the tension potential danger. The system employs the story context to look for a contextual structure that is equal or similar to it. For this example, Mexica finds this similar contextual structure. In this work, the story context must be at least 50% of the contextual structure to be considered similar. This is a parameter known as the ACAS constant. Its value is defined by the user. The characters in the story context are mapped with those in the contextual structure in order to instantiate properly the associated action. In this way, B thought A becomes the next action in the tale. The story context is updated. As we can see, now, character A and B hates each other. In the same way, the life of character A and B both are at risk. And because both are located in the same position, they hate each other. Therefore, the potential danger is activated for the two characters. The system employs this context as a cue to prove memory and finds a structure to match. Let's imagine that we find in memory two contextual structures that can be classified as similar to the story context. Notice that they have very different characteristics and also they have different associated actions. For this example, the system chooses the first of them. The new action in the story is A wounded B. The story context is updated with the tension held of character B 
at risk. The process is repeated and the system retreats from memory the action A ran away. At this moment, engagement has generated three actions and stops. This is a parameter that can be modified by the user of the system. Engagement may also stop when the system cannot match the current story context with any contextual structure. In this case, an impasse is declared and the system switches to reflection in order to try to break the impasse. Reflection. Reflection has four main processes. First, Mexica verifies that all actions preconditions are satisfied. Notice that during engagement, preconditions are not checked. This is an important characteristic of the system. If it is necessary, the system inserts one or more actions to satisfy the preconditions. The second important process is breaking impasses. Mexica tries to break an impasse by copying the way similar situations have been solved in the previous stories recorded in the concrete representation. The third process evaluates the novelty. Mexica compares the story in progress with all the previous stories. Depending on how similar is the story in progress to any of the previous stories, the variable called novelty guideline can be set to any of the following values. Street, high, medium, or low. If the novelty guideline is set to a strict, during engagement, Mexica only employs actions that had never been used before in any of the previous stories. If the novelty guideline is set to high, Mexica is allowed during engagement to choose actions that have been used until two times in the previous stories. Something analogous happen for the values medium or low. The last process analyzes if the story in progress is interesting. The system employs a variable called tension guideline that indicates if the tension in the story should increase, decrease, or keep as it is. In this way, during engagement, Mexica will only choose actions that satisfy the tension guideline. In order to get the right value for the tension guideline, Mexica compares the tensional representation of the story progress against the tensional representation of all previous stories, and then it selects the most alike. In this example, the black crosses represent the story in progress and the blue triangles represent the most similar of the previous stories. After analyzing the two graphics, Mexica gets the conclusion that it is possible for the story in progress to increase a little bit the tension and then it should go down. In this way, it sets the tension guideline to tendency up. After finishing reflection, the system switches to engagement and the cycle starts again, ending the narrative. In summary, the engagement reflection cycle works as follows. An initial action is provided by the user. The action is executed and a new context is updated. The context is employed as cue to prove memory. A set of historic actions are retrieved from memory and those that do not satisfy the guidelines are eliminated. One action is selected and the cycle continues again. After three actions have been generated during engagement, the system switches to reflection. During reflection, Mexica evaluates the coherence, 
the interestingness and the novelty of the story in progress. Based on this evaluation, the guidelines are set to constrain the retrieval of actions during engagement. Then the system switches back to engagement. If during engagement no structure can be matched, an impasse is declared. The system switches to reflection and attempts to break the impasse, inserting a new action. It goes back to engagement and the cycle continues. The engagement reflection cycle ends, that is, the story finishes when all characters in the story are dead, when an unbreakable impasse is declared, when the maximum number of actions allowed in a story is reached. Next, the system performs what is known as the final analysis. Once a story is finished, Mexica revises the material produced and adds a few finishing touches to the story. For instance, the system analyzes the tale and inserts in the right position story actions that make explicit some of the character's emotions. Example, the princess hated and loved the Jaguar Knight. This is the end of chapter 4. Please go ahead with the last chapter.